Now that I have the DBS system, the major changes have been my engagement with people. I'm more engaged in the community. If you went to the city administration, they would tell you the, the, the same thing. Parkinson's for me is, um, is, is difficult because I try and be active. And um, sometimes it gets the best of you. When you want to be active, you can't be active because something's either too stiff, you know, or it's, it's, it's not working right and you're self-conscious of that. You know, at first, like Parkinson's was no big deal. He took the medicine. It pretty much controlled things. But it's progressive and it got worse. It's the tremor in my hand, my left hand, got to be so, um, so uncontrollable. I was very self-conscious of that, conducting meetings and everything. You know, somebody comes on and see you, see you, you see your hand shaking. I mean, it would, it would violently go, go, go wild. Then it started to progress to walking. Sometimes he'd freeze when he'd stand up, uh, and it just kept getting more and more progressive and, you know, and harder to for him to deal with and really hard for me to see. The doctor had come in and said that you know, kind of at the, you're kind of at the zenith of the, the medications that you have right now and I can't do anything more on that end. And we, we had kept asking him about DBS, whether I was a candidate for it or not. That's what we asked our doctor. What was the best technology? If you were going to do it, what would you, what would you do? And that was after we had already formulated our opinion that it was going to be the Abbott device. And he says, well, obviously, he said, you want to fine tweak things. So he says, I'd go with the Abbott. My motor control in my hand is back to where I can do things that I like doing, you know, from like a drawing perspective. From this ability to have the, the stimulus with the DBS and the control that I have over my hands, I've got the paper in a, in a good position, you know, I have a pen in a good position, and my mind's starting to put the design down on the paper. My iPod programmer is here. Okay, so it, it comes up and it shows where they have it set for me at. And I'm able to go through, and I can change this depending on how much amperage they want to go through you know, the specific area. So it's right now the mode is continuous. I can turn it off. The, the big thing that's going to happen, I think, is going to be my, my terminal is going to start here. Now. Yeah. There you go. It's, 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 it's shaking now. Can I, can I turn it back on? So, so it's discreet. If you go out and you, you need to um, need to make a change, make the change, put it back in your pocket, go from there, save it, and go go from there. We can do a lot of things that um, did not seem possible not very long ago, but now a whole new world opened up. These are actual patient stories. The stories are the experience of these individuals only. Although these patients did not experience complications, there can be risks and potential complications associated with the use of medical devices. If you are interested in learning more, please consult your physician. The speakers in this video may be paid by Abbott, but the content of this presentation represents the beliefs of the speaker and not necessarily the views of Abbott. St. Jude Medical is now Abbott. There is no cure for Parkinson's disease and essential tremor, but there are options available to treat symptoms. The first-line therapy is medication. Surgical treatments are also available. It's important to discuss with your doctor what's right for you, along with the risks and side effects of each option, such as motor fluctuations or permanent neurological impairment. As with any surgery or therapy, deep brain stimulation has risks and complications. Most side effects of DBS surgery are temporary and correct themselves over time. Some people may experience lasting stroke-like symptoms, such as weakness, numbness, problems with vision, or slurred speech. In the event that the side effects are intolerable or you are not satisfied with the therapy, the DBS system can be turned off or surgically removed. Risks of brain surgery include serious complications such as coma, bleeding inside the brain, paralysis, seizures, and infection. Some of these may be fatal. Prescription only. Brief summary. 
Prior to using these devices, please review the user's guide for a complete listing of indications, contraindications, warnings, precautions, potential adverse events, and directions for use. The system is intended to be used with leads and associated extensions that are compatible with the system. Indications for use. U.S. Bilateral stimulation of the subthalamic nucleus as an adjunctive therapy to reduce some of the symptoms of advanced levodopa responsive Parkinson's disease that are not adequately controlled by medications and unilateral or bilateral stimulation of the ventral intermediate nucleus of the thalamus for the suppression of disabling upper extremity tremor in adult essential tremor patients whose tremor is not adequately controlled by medications and where the tremor constitutes a significant functional disability. International Unilateral or bilateral stimulation of the thalamus, internal globus pallidus, or subthalamic nucleus in patients with levodopa responsive Parkinson's disease, Unilateral or bilateral stimulation of the ventral intermediate nucleus of the thalamus for the management of disabling tremor and unilateral or bilateral stimulation of the internal globus pallidus or subthalamic nucleus for the management of intractable chronic dystonia, including primary and secondary dystonia for patients who are at least seven years old. Contraindications, U.S. Patients who are unable to operate the system or for whom test stimulation is unsuccessful. Diathermy, electroshock therapy, and transcranial magnetic stimulation are contraindicated for patients with a deep brain stimulation system. International. Patients who are unable to operate the system or for whom test stimulation is unsuccessful. Diathermy and magnetic resonance imaging are contraindicated for patients with a deep brain stimulation system. Warnings, precautions. Return of symptoms due to abrupt cessation of stimulation, rebound effect, excessive or low-frequency stimulation, risk of depression and suicide, implanted cardiac systems or other active implantable devices, magnetic resonance imaging, electromagnetic interference, proximity to electrosurgery devices, and high-output ultrasonics and lithotripsy, ultrasonic scanning equipment, external defibrillators, and therapeutic radiation, therapeutic magnets, radiofrequency sources, explosive or flammable gases, theft detectors and metal screening devices, activities requiring excessive twisting or stretching, operation of machinery and equipment, pregnancy, and case damage. Patients who are poor surgical risks with multiple illnesses or with active general infections should not be implanted. Adverse effects. Loss of therapeutic benefit or decreased therapeutic response, painful stimulation, persistent pain around the implanted parts, for example, along the extension path in the neck, worsening of motor impairment, paresis, dystonia, sensory disturbance or impairment, speech or language impairment, and cognitive impairment. Surgical risks include intracranial hemorrhage, stroke, paralysis, and death. Other complications may include seizures and infection. User's guide must be reviewed for detailed disclosure.